Pleased to meet you, President. I am Penultimus' brother, Segundo. I found a new island for you to rule. I picked it specifically because it has very few problems that can be fixed quite easily. As my brother Pinotomo likes to say, less work is always good. There is something wrong with the industry on this island. A foreign expert I met in a bar told me we can make much more money if we optimize. Unfortunately, he was too drunk and passed out before I could get him to tell me what exactly needs to be done. So. I suggest we take a look at how the industry works at the moment. As you can see, our lumberjacks are hard at work producing logs at the logging camp. The teamster will carry the logs produced by our woodcutters to the lumber mill, where they will be processed further. This may take some time, so consider increasing the game speed. After that, the processed lumber is transported to the dock, where it would be loaded on a ship and sold. Presidente, if we build a furniture factory, it will process the lumber into furniture, which is more expensive. Let us construct a furniture factory to ensure hefty profits in the future. The foreign expert I told you about has finally recovered from his hangover. It turns out that he was talking about optimizing our industry with better transportation. Apparently, the industrial complex is too far away from the city and people go to work on foot. If we build roads and garages near the city and the industrial complex, the citizens will be able to use cars to get to work or to the city's amenities faster. Let's start by building a road from the city to the industrial complex. You can select the road from the infrastructure tab in the build menu. Please note that construction workers will use these roads to get to their current project. 
That is why you should always construct a road from your office to the location where you plan to place a construction. Now we need two garages, one near the industrial complex and one near the city. Let me remind you that the workers will be able to use cars when going to work, to the amenities of the city or to the residences. Make sure that both your garages are connected with the main road. Presidente, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is that we are making money. Alas, the people hate us and are generally miserable. We should investigate their problems in the almanac. Just as I thought people are unhappy because of the lousy healthcare. To resolve this problem, we should construct a clinic. Dios mío, what have I done to deserve this? 
the clinic is ready, but the stupid doctor decided he would work as a professor in the ancient ruins at the end of town instead. I don't think the nationalists will be happy if we hire another college-educated worker from abroad. Let's get this one to work where he is supposed to. Presidente, fire that lazy, good-for-nothing professor. This should get him to work in the clinic as a doctor. Now the clinic is operational and the people's happiness will improve in time. However, we cannot afford to wait. Elections are soon and the major factions on the island are against us. We have to make some friends soon. Let us take a look at the almanac and see which faction is most prominent on this island. Open the almanac and the politics tab. It seems that the Loyalists are the prominent faction on this island. Recently, they are beginning to have doubts about your leadership skills and some even threaten to leave the faction if you continue to ignore their demands. Let us see what they want. Turns out the Loyalists do not want elections. Well, it's too late to change that. What else do they want? A museum to be made in the house where you spent your childhood years. But that place was demolished years ago. You specifically asked for the workers to make sure no two bricks remain on top of each other. Looks like I'll have to edit your autobiography again. Anyway, let us construct your childhood museum. Let us see to the other demands of the Loyalists. Now they want an edict depicting the greatness of your persona. I'm not sure what they like more, an ideology book or to proclaim a national day. He should the one you like best. Marvelous job! We did what we could with the major demands of the Loyalists. Once the faction gets bigger, it suddenly thinks it's allowed more and more demands. To keep things under control, I'll file the weirder ones in the minor demands category. Since your support with the Loyalists is still shaky, maybe you should consider looking at their other demands. How about the demand about the salaries of the palace guards? Hmm, 
and they are upset that you lowered the wages of your palace guards after they got drunk during the 17th assassination attempt against you. The loyalists insist that your guards should receive the highest wages on the island to remind the people how important protecting your illustrious persona is. It seems we have no choice. Give the palace guards at least $25 per month. Good work, President. Now, I leave the campaign into you. After all, you are the ruler, and I'm only the one to know the work. I mean, I am your honest and loyal advisor, of course. If you want, you can give a speech from the balcony of your palace to win a few more traffic and votes. You can also give the men counting the ballots a few pointers about the best way to count vote. Also, remember that you can speed up time when you are ready to face the election day. You still have a whole year for campaigning and swaying the voters in your favor. Use it wisely. Never fear, President is here!
You won, Presidente. You manipulated the people to your own whims. I am so proud of your devious nature. Of course, the traffickers are still as whiny as they ever were. So be prepared to receive the next batch of their wild demands really soon. By the way, you forgot to sign my raise. I, I mean this very important document that will lead Traffico into the next century and beyond. Right here on the dotted line, please.